Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Here's the target I forgot all about it. I didn't really forget I was just being lazy. Look at all them holes. Look at all them holes. I see you through the holes. Alright. Remember like I was telling y'all? 15 yards. Eh, I can probably do a headshot. One and two. Uh, skip that one because I don't know where that one came from. But yeah, I can do a 50, uh, close to 15 yards. Next to each other. Just control. You know, pop, pop. And then um, the rest of these I did out past beyond 15 yards. As you can see, I missed. One, two, three, four. The rest of them weren't exactly that good. This one was touching one of the originals. That one, that one, that one. And then a little glance right there. That's about it. Um, and then the rest of it, I mean, it looks like the pattern is huge. And yeah, the pattern is really huge. That's because... I was shooting at different parts of the target to see what kind of grouping I was getting. But if you really play a lot of close attention to some of these, some of these holes are actually touching each other. So that means the groupings weren't that bad at 15 yards. Uh, 15, yeah, I went, I went all the way out to 25 yards. But uh, the grouping, uh, just like I said, some of these are actually touching each other. It's like three or four in the same area. I mean, I wish you could see it a little bit better. Um, but you can see, like, right back here, you can see some of them are, like, this one right here. It's like one, two, three, four, five in one area. And then you have all of these in one area. And then, of course, all of the other ones, you know, there's more there. There's more there. Yeah, so the ammo is not bad. The American Eagle and the PMC is not bad ammo. Um... Just like I said, some of those groupings are like this big at 15 to 25 yards. So it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I got a chance to sit down and really, really look at it. And I was looking at it. I go, wow, you know, I'm getting um, one and a half, one to one and a half inch grouping at 25 yards with uh, iron sights. Or they're not really iron sights, but they're iron sights offhand using a pistol. Um, so I went ahead and I, and I kind of like, okay, that's not bad. I might, I might stick with, with American Eagle for a little bit and, and also still pick up and collect uh, PMC Brass because that's actually my favorite one to shoot. Uh, they're all 55 grain. Uh, like I said, they, they did they did pretty good. Uh, for self-defense, I'm not really sure home defense. Uh, I might have to try some of the 62 grain, maybe some of the higher stuff. I do have some 75 grain um, tap ammo. Uh, it's not made anymore, the one that I have. Um, their brass is actually nickel plated. It's meant to be used on bolt rifles. Um, so that means that the action is much smoother when you, when you, you know, you slide, you pop it out and you pop the other one back in. Uh, but on an AR, I heard, I heard uh, they work really, really well on ARs. I mean, just, they cycle much better. But the only problem is I only have 25 round, uh, 20 rounds of that stuff and for home defense. And I don't really want to sit there and shoot it because it's not made anymore. Uh, 75 grain, hollow point, uh, tap ammo with nickel plated brass. Um, you know, I might shoot two rounds to see what I get. And then that's about it. The other 18 are for, are for uh, home defense. Um, but I'm going to look into... Um, some of the uh, wolf, I think wolf has a 62 grain or something like that. Hollow point, uh, yeah, they're not ideal for a home defense, but in a, in a really, really tight budget, uh, in a really um, hectic situation where regular ammo is really hard to get, especially self uh, home defense ammo. That's not a bad choice. Um, hollow points. I mean, they're like five something for twenty rounds, um, and that's not that's not bad. Uh, for just like I said, for home defense is not really the ideal stuff. But if you're in a tight budget and you really can't afford twenty five dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars for twenty rounds on, on home defense, two three two two three ammo, uh, the Wolf Hollow Point might actually be a little bit appealing um, to some people. So I'm going to try to see if I can find some and get to test it out. Um, I did do some upgrades on my SBR. Now it looks a lot different than it did before. By just spending a little bit of uh, 
like eighty four dollars. I spent eighty four dollars, and I completely totally upgraded my uh, my SBR. Now it looks completely different. Now it's a completely different stuff on it. I'll make a video of it in a few minutes. But um, but yeah, guys, I just want to show you the target real quick. Um, it wasn't bad. It was just like I said, I wish my twenty two would have worked that day. I really would have wished to see what kind of grouping I can get with that at twenty five yards. <clears throat> but hopefully in in about a month or so, I get to go back to the range. If it's not really hot, um, I have to crank up the air conditioner. Um, it's been really humid the last month or so. My I used to pay sixty something dollars a month for my electric bill uh, because you know during winter time, during the fall, where it's nice and cool. Um, we I rarely ever had to use the air conditioner. This year has been really humid. It's not even hot. It's humid, and my electric bill went from sixty something dollars around this time of the year to a um, hundred and fifteen in one month. Uh, yeah, that's that's, and I've been cranking it on more now because now for the next week or so. Here in Florida, you know, it was only like 90 something degrees. Now we're talking about 95, 96 degrees. So, so it's jumping seven, you know, five or six degrees all of a sudden. So already at eight in the morning, it's already 80 degrees, 80, 81 between eight and nine in the morning is already hot out here. And that, and that really sucks. So uh, that during the summertime, I make less videos because I can't go out shooting because I spent so much money on electricity that. It sucks. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Y'all have a good day. I'll post a couple more videos up later on today. All right. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day and be safe out there.